the next one is called multi, um, which tells us that there's not just activities, but there's multiple sections with multiple activities. In this course example, I have used five sections. Each of the continents are represented by one section. And in each of the sections, there are a couple of activities. And that's just to demonstrate how flow works when there's multiple sections, which I think is a neat and a tidy way um, to have more content in a course, even though flow, I think, works best really for microlearning and for courses that don't have that many activities. In, in this example, we also have content showing up in a modal. So that's the same thing as before. And without further ado, let's dive directly into it. So um, have a look at the real example. So this would be the course that I've built. We've got all the continents here. If I click on that, it will expand the, the, um, the activities. I can click on an activity and I can view it. It will tell me that I've done it if I'm enrolled in the, this course. So I now have 50% in this course and I can now proceed to do the next one. Um, actually, if you want to look at this course later on, it's, it's quite funny. What I've done here is I, I picked the first video which was showing up when I searched for the continent's name in YouTube. It's quite funny to see what YouTube considers to be most relevant uh, here. It's, it's, it's really interesting. So let's build this one. Oh, but I, not, not as a student, obviously. Student is not allowed to do that. So again, flow multi in the webinar number two. Again, we're going to use the flow and fix some settings. So again, I want to use completion tracking and I don't want a nonsense forum. I don't want the gradebook to show up and that's okay. Now, same thing as before, I'm getting rid of the announcements forum. I could obviously get rid of the announcements forum by fixing the uh, number of announcements um, in the global course settings, but I try to keep this platform relatively similar to the core configuration um, so that people are not too surprised about many things. Um, so, so on your side, if you have set the number of announcements to zero, you won't need to do this step, obviously. In this case, I am using several sections. So let me create five sections because we have, well, let's just do three because it's quicker. Um, so let's say we're going to do Europe. Let's say we're going to do Americas. And let's say we're going to do Africa. And now I can add activities to each of those sections. Again, I'm not going to do proper content because I don't need to teach you how to use, use the activities. You all know that. So I'm just going to, again, use a dummy content here. Or probably not this year, to use this year. Um, and I'm just going to focus on the specific settings for designer because that's what I think uh, I can share with you best. In this case, um, for the activities here, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just leaving it as it is. I could obviously change that, but I don't want to do that. Just creating a couple of dummy activities so that we can see how it works. So I'm going to move that here, duplicate it again, just to have a couple of activities so that you can see um, this, this design of a section when there's several activities in there. And because I, I hate those copies, I'm going to remove them even though it doesn't really matter but I just hate how that looks. Sorry for the waiting. Almost done. It's one of the little annoyances, isn't it? That you always have this copy, but it kind of makes sense to have it. It's just weird for the purpose of demonstration. So in this case, we're not going to adjust the appearance of the activity. We're going to adjust the activity, uh, the section's appearance. So in order to do that, we're going to edit the section. And in comparison to a normal Moodle sites course with a topics format or any different format, we have additional settings here. So what we're going to use is the design section. And I want a background image here. So in this case, I'm working on Europe. So I'd better use an image from Europe. 
uh, which is here. And I could change other things, uh, but I, I just want to only do the min most minimal stuff that's possible because we don't have that much time in this session. Um, I could, for example, uh, change the text color to a, a dark green, which is represented in, in this image, but I'm just going to use the image here to show you how this works. And uh, what I need to do is because this image is um, way too big for that tile, I need to configure the size, which I found out 50% in this case makes sense, but in other cases might be a different size. So let's just use this here. And if I now turn editing off, you see that Europe here uh, is now showing up on the section. And if I click on that, I do see basically the, the section coming together with this image. And because there's activity in there, which have activity completion configured, I see a section progress, which is also part of the designer product family. So let's, let's do the other sections. So we've got Americas. Same procedure, there's really no difference in what I do here. I just go to this part here and I'm going to drag and drop Americas, which I have already on my desktop here as a PNG. I'm going to center it. I should type that properly. Um, and I'm going to say it should again be 50% of the tile. And that's it. Last not least, let's take care of Africa. So I'm picking Africa. Again, center 50% of the size and save. And we're getting really close to how it should look. Um, I assume that others don't like this general section. Like I personally really hate it uh, because it always is in the way and it behaves weird in many cases. So we built a solution for that in designers. So what you can do with designers, you can simply hide the section. Um, there's more to that, but that's for a different webinar episode. So in this case, I'm just hiding the section zero. And the other thing which I'm doing is I'm going to prevent the initial state of the sections to be expanded because I'd rather have them collapse because I think that makes more sense. It's more robust and simpler and easy on the eye. So now we have Europe, Americas and Africa. And if I want to look at Europe, I can just go in here. I'd rather go to the Americas. I can do that here. I can also have several open at the same time, unless I've accordion turned off. That's that's just a setting of the course format. And now I'm pretty close to where I was. If I open this now again as a student, let me enroll somebody so that I can show this to you with a proper account, like you should always do if you're testing something. It looks like this. So I'm looking at Europe. Oh, I did want to mark us done. So let's fix that in a second. My bad. So let's go to the course completion, bulk activity completion, all the activities. I don't want manually. I want just to view the activity so that it's completed. And again, look at this as a student. And there we go. So if I now open this page, which opens in a pop-up, and I close it, I see that I've got 50% cover of Europe. Once I have the second one, I have the section fully completed. Now I can proceed to the Americas and continue learning. Very simple, very intuitive, I think. Hopefully you, you agree. Um, and this is our take on a multiple section course using flow.